Is this training started already? Uh, huh? Good morning, everybody. We're just waiting for some more participants and then we shall begin. Morning, Bobs. Morning. How are you? And in you? Good, thank you. Good. Um, I see there's still quite a lot of people joining, so we'll oh. wait um, another few minutes and um, yeah. So you're freezing in derbs. Can you imagine what it's here like here in Joe's? I don't know how you guys are coping in Johannesburg. Uh, I feel for you. <laughs> that wind is pumping. Yeah, yeah, and Rosebank today. I don't know what's happening, but that wind is pumping. Sure. Oh, no, it's it's actually quite crazy. So um, I feel for all of you. And but anyway, uh, we'll uh, whisk off to a beautiful island and wish we were all there. So absolutely. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But let's wait another good uh, three or so minutes, Bobs, and then we can go from there. No props. Did you find your background? No. No, but now I don't know what is going on here. Hold on. Otherwise, just stop share and then you can share again. But can we? Something weird has happened here. The trunk. <laughs> yeah. um, not sure. Okay, well, you've stopped sharing, so let me just reshare. The problem is the rest of my. Okay, this is very weird. Otherwise, otherwise, go out and come back in, and then I'll just make you host again if you want. Yeah, sorry, but for some reason, I've just got everybody's names here. The rest of my screen has disappeared. <laughs> okay, go out and come back in. I'll make you host again. But let me actually wait. Let me take you off as host first. Let me just make myself host. Uh, wait. Can you remove me because it's disappeared off my screen. This is okay. so... Um, I'm so sorry. I've just got one line of all the people. I haven't removed you. So funny. Reclaim host. Okay, so let me reclaim host and then let me make you host again. Now and then try if you do share screen. See, it doesn't even allow me to share screen. I've literally got one little black line of all the people, and the rest of my screen has disappeared. So then take your camera off and let's see the bottom. Just hold on. No, I don't have that screen. That's why this is so bizarre. Okay, the whole screen is disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> The host has asked to start the video. Okay, that's weird. No, no don't. Hey, must I not start it? Okay. Okay, sorry. Let me try and get out of here. Okay. Let me know. just reclaim host. Uh, just hold one sec. Ah, I'm back. Hey, you're back. Oh, no, I just reclaimed host. Okay, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, all right. So there we go. And I don't want to start your video, so I'm going to get out of there. Okay. Good morning, everybody, from a very chilly Rosebank. Um, I hope you're all well. And um, we've got Barbara that you all know from Plan Hotels, and she will take us through Melindy, Kenya, to give us a nice update on all their properties and just an update in general about the destination. Um, so, Bob, so I think there are a few still joining, but I'm happy for you to start. Thank you. All right.
Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I just want to um, check that you can see my page. Um, if you can see my sharing. Yep. Sure. I don't know if it's the rain here in Durban, but my computer is not playing ball today. Ah, fantastic. Right. Okay, so thanks for your time. And um, I'm sure you're all very cold in Johannesburg, Cape Town, Pretoria, Porfada, wherever you might be situated. Um, Derbs for Durban people, it is freezing. Um, I think we our high today is about 14 degrees. So that, that really is cold for Derbs. Um, but the nice thing about this presentation this morning is we're going to hop to a beautiful beach um, in Kenya in an area called Malindi. So hopefully just seeing the pictures might warm you guys up. Um, I'm really hoping so. So let me start with uh, the area itself. Um, we're based in Kenya in a, an area called uh, Malindi. Malindi is about two hours uh, north of Mombasa. So two ways in which you get there, you can fly into Mombasa and it's a two hour transfer. The road is very good. Um, it has been redone. I have had operators there that were very, very happy with the road. And then um, the other option is to fly from Nairobi, Jumbo Jet, one hour to Malindi, and then we're about 10 minutes from the airport. So those are the two options. And the Mombasa trip, the two hour um, trip is actually really awesome. You know, you kind of get to see parts of Kenya, which most people don't really get to see. Um, so that's also a really awesome trip. And yeah, I mean, Malindi as an area is beautiful. The beaches are divine. Um, we actually, the last educational I did there, we did what they call a, a seed braai, if we can call it that, where depending on the moon, um, when it's low tide, we actually get in a boat, we cruise along in the ocean and we actually stop on a sandbank in the middle of the ocean and have a braai. Um, the starfish that we saw were just incredible. I've never seen such beautiful, big starfish. Um, I don't know if anybody on the presentation uh, came with me. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it was it was really really special. And I, you know, I think a lot of people when you think of Kenya, the first thing, and I'll put my hand up to it as well, is you kind of go, ah, animals, the bush, the wild, and people kind of forget that Kenya's actually got some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Um, so I think it's it's just a bit of a mind change, a mindset. Um, of getting people to think of beach in Kenya um, and yeah it's it's definitely something to to think about as opposed to the norm in, um, in terms of beaches that people go on holiday. All right so um, as I was just discussing some of the facts the suburb is Malindi as I mentioned two hours drive from Mombasa our flight from Nairobi um, with Kenya Airways and South African Airways <clears throat> Kenya Airways uh, we have three properties that are next door to each other. So even though they're next door to each other, they all operate individually. We have two four stars and we have one five star. So just to remember with Plan Hotel, we have the two different brands. We've got the Diamonds brand, which is your five star brand. And then we have the Sandys brand, which is your four star brand. So at any given time, you will always see with the properties, it will say Sandys uh, Tropical Village. It will say Diamonds Dream of Africa. So at any given time, you will know whether it's a four star or a five star. Service, food, um, basically when I say accommodation, standards are exactly the same in our four and five star properties. Plan Hotel is an Italian based company. Um, so food is extremely important to them as well as coffee. That's very important as well. But your standards within all of our properties, you can guarantee that your guests will have an, an amazing stay with us. The only major differences between a Diamonds property and a Sandy's property is your drinks package. So our prop, our prop, all our properties are all inclusive, except in your Sandy's property, spirits and cocktails are only from six o'clock in the evening. Okay. When you're in a Diamonds property, it's from 10 o'clock in the morning, drink as much as you'd like. Okay. And I know with our South Africans, they do tend to like to have a G&T um, at lunchtime. So that's really the major difference. And then the other difference is the Wi-Fi. In your Diamonds properties, we have Wi-Fi throughout. In the, in the Sandys properties, Wi-Fi is normally just in the main areas and then obviously in your suites as well. Okay, so that's really the difference between the two. Beaches, as I said, stunning, absolutely divine. Remember with plan, what we do as well is we have what we call a private beach. 
So your guests will have a beach area where they don't get asked if they'd like to buy things, go shopping, etc. on the beach. So we have a private beach area where your guests can relax. And then when they want to go to uh, have a swim or something like that, they just hop down the stairs and off they go into the water. All right, so that's also quite a big plus in terms of, of the planned properties. We do have 24 hour security as well, um, but in Melindy, we haven't had any issues at all. Okay. Other thing just to mention is what we call the beach bush package. So we have a national park called the Savo National Park, which is T-S-A-V-O National Park. It's one of the oldest parks in Kenya. It's about an hour 45 minutes to two hours away from us. And what we've actually done is we've put together what we call a beach bush package. So a beach bush package would be five nights, four nights with us, one night in the Savo National Park, or seven night package, five nights with us, and two nights in the Savo National Park. Again, it's a big advantage because we've got both the Diamonds and the Sandys brands. So it all just depends in terms of what your guests' uh, budgets are, that they can stay in, in a Sandys or a Diamonds with us and then go to the Savo National Park. Okay, Really nice opportunity because South Africans, uh, sadly, not too many of us can go to the Serengeti and then Gora Crater. Um, those little US dollars seem to like pop up quite a lot. So <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a really good opportunity in terms of being able to do that. Okay, then the three different properties that we have, we have a Diamond Stream of Africa, which is our five-star property, 33 junior suites and two suites. Um, the fact sheets, I know that Ange does have the fact sheets, so if there's any further information, you're welcome to have a look at them or you can obviously ask some questions. Melindy Dream Garden, we have 44 deluxe and four suites and the Sandy's Tropical Village, we have 51 garden rooms. Okay, so Melindy Dream Garden and Sandy's Tropical are obviously your four-star markets and then your Diamond Stream of Africa is your five-star. All right. Okay, so we'll start with Dream of Africa. Um, quite important to note that it is part of the small luxury hotels of the world. Um, it's really got a beautiful Kenyan feel to it. Um, it, it really is quite amazing. Um, the property itself, we have had some refurbs and we have done quite a lot of painting in terms of the property. It used to be in like a, um, a rich, uh, what's the word? I need a copper color to it, but we have changed it all to white. Um, with Plan Hotels, a lot of our properties are very clean and white um, and it, it really is looking beautiful. So just to give you an idea, obviously with the rooms, you can see a lot of dark wood, um, very much a Kenyan style to it. The rooms are very big. Um, they do obviously have Wi-Fi as well, um, tea coffee facilities, our rooms do in the Diamonds properties, we have espresso coffee machines, um, again as I mentioned the Italians love their coffee, so you are guaranteed really good coffee um, in all of our properties, especially Kenya, um, and it's just yeah very spacious, um, that's a view of one of the rooms, and that would be one of the suites, so some of them are obviously upstairs, some of them are downstairs, so all of them do have a veranda, um, really great to have a veranda on the ground floor because you also have some of your chairs, um, your lie down chairs where you can sit in the gardens. The gardens are beautiful, absolutely magnificent. They, they really have taken a lot of care in the gardens. Just another view of one of the suites um, where you all have your, your TV um, uh, suite area. That would be upstairs, so you still have your own area upstairs. We only have two levels, so you've got your ground floor and your first level, which is really awesome. <clears throat> so that's kind of what it looks like. We have blocks in the gardens. Um, as you can see, the gardens are beautiful. Um, that's been newly repainted. And you know, the great thing about these properties as well is that because they've been there for so many years, the rooms are very big. So even if you go into your junior suites, which is your entry level room, uh, Diamond Stream of Africa, the, the space is really great. Um, and if you have children, we can obviously accommodate the children as well. Just another view so you can see what, um, what the, the property looks like itself. This unfortunately was an old picture. Um, as you can see the color of the, the paint, that's what it used to be. But again, just to, um, just to show you the space in terms of um, how big the rooms are. All right, and then uh, all of our uh, restaurants, the Sandy's properties, we have a uh, buffet restaurant in the um, Diamond Stream of Africa. Breakfast is buffet, but you can obviously order your hot food as well. Um, and then you have the um, a la carte for dinner. 
So the way that it works as well as the Sandy's properties, if your guests would like to go to Dream of Africa for one dinner or a lunch or something like that in terms of a la carte, there are Is more than one. The sound just gone off. Mit man. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you, Bob's. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Apologies. Just hold on. Sorry, I don't know, I apologize, it is raining here, so the signal's battling a little bit. Okay, so um, yeah, so as I mentioned, if they'd like to go for an a la carte dinner, they're more than welcome to on the Dream of Africa side if they're staying at Sandy's, um, but there will be a surcharge, okay. Here you can see the restaurant area going out onto the pool area, and as I mentioned with the private beach, you can see the little private beach there and then you go down to the main beach area okay again gardens beautiful um you, you really feel like you're on a tropical island it's it's really really special we have redone the pool area just so you are aware of that it was actually done pre-covid um and it's it's really looking stunning so that's the rest of the the area in terms of your uh, restaurant and um, garden area sorry apologies Sorry, I can't hear myself think with the rain that's coming down in Durban. I do apologize. Um, so that's the, so you've got a little lounge area, the restaurant area to the right, and just wherever you sit in the main areas, you just overlook that beautiful beach. I mean, it, it really is very, very special. So there is our beach. Um, again, the great thing is because we've got all three properties right next to each other, that whole beach is ours. Um, and it's, it really is very special. To the right, the far right hand side around that little um, uh, greenery area, that is actually where we went and had our, our um, beach braai in the middle of the ocean um, seeing all the starfish and things like that, which is absolutely phenomenal. But as I mentioned again, you have your private beach area to the right of the Makoros and then you can obviously go onto the beach itself. Okay. We do private dinners. Um, if you've got a special occasion, if somebody's proposing or anniversaries or birthdays or things like that. Um, you can just chat to the staff there. They do beautiful, beautiful beach dinners. We actually, there was a group of six of us and they did the most incredible beach dinner around the pool, um, just obviously near the pool at uh, Diamond Stream of Africa. It was incredible. The food, the presentation of the food, I've never seen so much seafood in my life. And they actually built a boat out of the seafood. So you had prawns, you had calamari, you had lobster, and they actually brought it to the table and it looked like a boat. It was absolutely phenomenal. I must actually find my picture. It, it was brilliant. Okay, then this lovely area is our spa. So the spa can be used by any of our guests within um, the three properties. The spa itself is actually, if I can say, between Dream of Africa and Melindy Dream Garden on the beach. Okay, so all of the properties have their own swimming pools, but the spa has a swimming pool as well. Um, the treatment's amazing, absolutely phenomenal, and it really is just a lovely area to go and relax. If you are part of, Dream of uh, Diamond's Dream of Africa, you are welcome to go and sit there and relax around the swimming pool. With the Sandy's properties, you are also allowed to, to go through to the spa and relax around the swimming pool, but there is a small surcharge. Okay, the advantages of staying at a Diamonds property. <laughs> All right, so that is Diamonds Dream of Africa. Um, are there any questions or should we leave the questions to the end, Ange? Um, either or, if anybody has any questions now they can or they can ask at the end. Okay. All right, well, let's leave it to the end and uh, I'll answer what I can. All right, now we move on to Sandy's Tropical Village. Sandy's Tropical Village um, has been there the longest. Um, the feel and the vibe in Sandy's Tropical Village I just absolutely love. It's very relaxed. Um, the staff are amazing in all of our properties, but it really is a real feel of Kenya. So if you've got that clients that, that want to go to Kenya and just it's Kenya all the way, this is the kind of property that you, you take them to. You know, bearing in mind as well, and I, and I often say this, 
most of the time you're in the main areas, you're on the beach, you're relaxing around the swimming pool. Um, but people just, Sandy's Tropical is a very popular property out of the three, purely because it has such a Kenyan feel to, to the product. So I love this property. I think it's got, it's got a lot of, um, lot of character and that's what I love. So these, this is your main area, just divine to sit there in the mornings. You have a nice cup of coffee before you go for breakfast. Um, it really is very, very special. Um, those are around the back there are all the, the rooms. So it's basically in a U shape. You have two levels, you have your ground level and your first level. Just to give you a better idea of, um, as you can see, the rooms, uh, the uh, verandas are actually quite big. Again, what they've done is everything is in white. So not the decor, but the outside area of it is white. What you will find, and when I get to Melindy Dream Garden, it will make you understand it a bit better. Sandy's Tropical, we only used to have Sandy's Tropical and Dream of Africa. What they then did a few years ago, before my time, is they actually divided it into three properties. So you'll see the layout of Melindy is exactly the same as Sandy's Tropical. So you have that U-shaped -shape, feel, and then you have the ground floor and the, the uh, first floor. Okay. All right. So there's one of your rooms, one of your um, your garden rooms. Remember, at Sandy's Tropical, we only have 51 garden rooms, so it's all the way around in the U shape, but very Kenyan. So Kenyan wood, the um, the flooring is very Kenyan. Um, so it, it really is 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 awesome. Just remember though, um, in Sandy's Tropical, we only have fans. But I have to say, I don't know if it's maybe the flooring, but the rooms are very cool. They're very, very, very cool. So, you know, you, you're not going to have a problem. I'm an aircon child and I was absolutely fine in Sandy's Tropical. Okay. All right. So that's your, um, your swimming pool area. Rather a large swimming pool. Um, quite deep. I'm quite short and uh, didn't quite touch the bottom. So <laughs> it is very, very deep. And then just to the left-hand side of the swimming pool area, is um, the thatched roof and that is where we have entertainment. So there's another bar there um, depending, I know COVID is a little bit tricky at the moment, but sometimes we have music playing in the evenings and people can go and dance. There's uh, an area where you can sit and uh, pretty much be like an outdoor cinema area. So that's really a lot of the activity side. And then just also to show you with regards to this picture, what we do depending on the amount of people that are in house we do what we call a pool bra or pool dinner. So they will set up all the chairs and tables and all of the, the bra areas, et cetera, and actually have a pool dinner. I was very lucky the last time I went there, uh, we actually had a pool dinner and it was amazing. Just had to make sure you didn't fall in the swimming pool. But other than that, it was fantastic. <laughs> really, really good. All right, so that's the beach. Um, as you can see again, our little private beach with the bar area, and then you can hop across the Makoros and um, go for a swim. Um, beautiful, really, really amazing. Just bear in mind as well, sorry, I forgot to mention, with Diamond Stream of Africa, their beach area is private. So it's only for Diamond's guests. When it comes to Sandy's, Sandy's Tropical and Sandy's Melindy share the same garden. Um, sorry, share the same beach. So from left to right, before you get to Diamond Stream of Africa, you are welcome to sit anywhere in terms of that beach area. Okay, so again, really special. That's just another angle. Um, that's the bar area that you saw now. So pretty much from where the picture has been taken all the way to the end is for the Sandy's guests. Okay, so that's all of ours um, for the four star product. And then behind that would then be the Diamond Stream of Africa. Just to also let you know, um, Melindy is extremely popular for weddings. Um, we actually have a lot of Indian weddings where we have guests that come from Nairobi, um, other parts of Kenya, but also the UK. So weddings are extremely popular. Um, quite excited as well that we have one of the state of the art conference facilities at Melindy. Two years ago, possibly now even three years ago, we built the most incredible um, conference facility accommodating up to 250 people. State of the art equipment to the extent that we have a generator that if the generator, uh, if the electricity cuts, the generator comes on and you actually don't even realize that we've had a power cut. Um, so, and it actually happened when I was there and I couldn't believe it. Normally it takes a while to do that, but really great. And then we've got two boardroom facilities as well. 
So really awesome if you've got incentive groups, if you've got conferences, um, beautiful gala dinners, those type of things. And the great thing about having the three properties next to each other is that you have a four-star option and you have a five-star option. So often when we have these types of weddings, they actually take over the whole, all, all three of the hotels, which is fantastic business for us. But um, yeah, sadly with COVID at the moment, it's a little bit quiet. Again, just another picture of the beach um, and the bar area. We do have activities, as you can see on the right hand side, um, the non motorized sports are included, and um, motorized sports are obviously excluded, and we do um, offer excursions as well, as well as transfers, by the way. Okay, and then lastly, but certainly not least, um, Sandy's Melindy Dream Garden. Beautiful product. Um, now you can see what I mean in terms of it being part of Sandy's Tropical initially. So it's exactly the same setup. Um, the only difference is that with Melindy Dream Garden, the swimming pool is in the middle of the U-shape um, of the property, but you've got your downstairs units and you've got your upstairs units as well. Melindy was refurbed fairly recently, um, I would say two and a half years to maybe three years ago. Very much that white, clean um, plan hotel look. Uh, really, really beautiful. This is, um, we've got the deluxe rooms and then we've got the suites. So this would be a suite because you actually go through those doors and you go to a lounge area. So the yeah, just the, the feel of Melindy Dream Garden, I love. Um, it's fresh. The swimming pool in the middle is awesome. Um, sometimes the, the water is actually too hot that you need to jump into the ocean. Um, <laughs> I think it's just the good old sun and the heat in Kenya. So that will give you an idea of the suites. Um, that's your bedroom and then going into your lounge area, which has been very beautifully decorated um, I absolutely love it. Just another view and this is obviously one of the ones from uh, from upstairs. Okay again you've got your wi-fi and um, the wi-fi are in the rooms as well and um, then you've got the wi-fi in the main areas. Just to let you know with regards to Sandy's Melindy and Sandy's Tropical they share the same restaurant okay so it's a massive restaurant in terms of um, buffet so at any given time, you know, I suppose it's pretty normal with hotels, you get the, the early birds who want to have breakfast at seven and start their day. And then you get the, the people who are on real holiday and they only want to eat breakfast at 10 o'clock. So you never feel like there are a million people around you. Um, and the, the buffet area is really big. Um, bearing in mind with Plan Hotel as well, as mentioned before, food is extremely important. What they do have is they'll have fresh stations. For example, lunchtime, they'll have a fresh pasta station. So you can go there, you can choose what pasta you'd like, you can choose your mixture, and they make it fresh for you while you stand there, which is, is really special as well. Um, but the food is just outstanding. Um, you normally have to go on diet when you come home from a plan hotel property, because uh, you just can't get enough of the food that they have. So there's your swimming pool area, as I mentioned, um, really, really nice pool. And then you've obviously got your rooms going in a U shape around the swimming pool area. Love this picture. Whenever I see this picture, I get a bit uh, homesick visiting my properties. But in the afternoons, it's amazing. You've got that little bar area, um, sit there when the sun goes down. You can see the ocean on your right hand side. You can see this beautiful swimming pool on the other side. And you just sit there and, and take in the beauty around you. It, it really is a special property. And the other thing I love is they've actually got those day beds that are scattered around the gardens as well. So you can go and lie and read your book. You can drink your gin and tonic. You can have a little sleep, really entirely up to you. You kind of just go there and relax. And, and that's what we're all about. <clears throat> there you go. Um, so you have one of those where you can just sit and relax and look at the ocean. It's really, really special. Okay, so I think that is the end of the presentation. So I don't know why I stopped so abruptly. Um, you know, I think one of the things to, to remember about Kenya, and like I mentioned earlier, I think a lot of people don't see Kenya as a beach destination. I have to tell you, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's a place that I could go back to every six months just to go and relax there. Melindy as a town is also really cool. Um, uh, I was a tourist the one time that I went there because, you know, normally what happens is you go to the hotel, you work, work, work. Everyone thinks you're having a fantastic time on the beach. 
um, you kind of see the beach through the windows. But um, I got the opportunity just to do a little tour of Melindy and it's actually a, it's a really cool town. Um, there's quite a lot of shopping if uh, people want shoes and beautiful cotton clothing and things like that. There's also quite an amazing, it's a, it's a factory and there's a whole lot of people that sit there and carve wood. And then when you actually go, there's a shop there. So when you go and buy it, it actually shows, um, it's got information about the actual person who has carved, you know, whatever it did from salad servers to beautiful rings to, sure, animals, everything. Um, so it's actually, it's quite special in terms of that and, and kind of giving back to the local communities. Um, and just driving around Melindy, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really cool little town. Um, there are quite a few people that have holiday homes there, um, Europeans that have holiday homes as well, beautiful homes, massive homes, um, but just as, a, as an area, it's, it's a really, really nice area. I know people sometimes get put off by having to drive two hours from, Bum, from Mombasa, but I promise you the actual route is really awesome. You don't even realize it's two hours. You're looking out the windows, you're seeing new things, you're seeing new environments, um, and it's all worth it. it. It really is worth it. Melindy, I think, is underrated as a destination. Um, and your guests would be very spoiled to be going to Melindy as a destination. Are there any questions? Thanks, Bob. That looks great. Mm. Um, I did see there was one in the chat box just about the weddings. Okay, we do... Um, Tocardona, sorry, I don't know if that's your full name. Um, Tanya. We do, okay, we do have um, legal weddings as well as, sorry, I've gone completely blank. Um, but they have to get married before. Non-legal weddings, yes. <laughs> sorry, I've just <laughs> gone completely, uh, it must be the weather. Yeah, so we can do either. So it can, we call it renewing of vows. So that can be done or it can be legal. So we do bring in a minister um, there are documentations that have to be bought, but we give you all that information if anybody's interested in, in a wedding. No problem. The oh, offbeat yeah. snorkeling, yeah, the offbeat snorkeling is actually really good. What they can do as well is we do have excursions that go out a little bit further or around the reef um, in terms of snorkeling. Look, it's not, you know, snorkeling, let's be real, it's not Maldives. Um, this is Kenya. Um, but we actually did a bit of snorkeling when we went to the, um, the beach bra in the middle of the ocean. And I must say the snorkeling was actually great. The coral was beautiful, um, not too many fish, but the coral and, and things like that was actually really great. I enjoyed it. And I do quite like those type of excursions. So yeah, it, it definitely is. Do they have diving there as well, Bob's? Yes, um, Kenya has diving as well. What I can do, I'm, I'm not sure if you've got the latest excursion, so I'll send you the excursion list, um, and then you're welcome to share it with whoever needs the excursion list. But there are some really nice excursions that we do in and around uh, the Melindy area. Um, there was also just a question, Is um, I think it was to me, how busy are the hotels at the moment? What countries are traveling to your hotels at the moment? Um, sadly, not too many countries are um, traveling. We have had a few Eastern Bloc countries that have traveled. Um, at the moment, it's South African and um, expats, um, locals from Nairobi, from Mombasa. So yeah, unfortunately, European-wise, uh, it's a little quiet, um, as yeah. most of the properties are. But at this stage, it's we, we kind of, we actually have had quite a few weddings I think everyone's deciding, oh, well, might as well get married now. Um, but yeah, a lot of uh, expats, South Africans, and we did at one stage have a few UK business, a few UK guests, um, because Kenya was one of those places where you could quarantine before going into the UK, but unfortunately they stopped that. So we don't mm -hmm. get those. Um, just hold on, does the water go out far during? The water does go out, but not as far as Zanzibar, no. It doesn't go out as far as Zanzibar. So you can walk a little bit and then you can jump in and go and swim. No problem. Um, disabled rooms, as far as I'm aware, um, I will get back to you. Uh, it's uh, Karen from Pen. Karen is a video from Pen Travel. Okay. Uh, Karen, what I'll do is I'll just, I don't have your details. I'll send it through to Ange. 
I stand to be corrected, but as far as I know, Tropical Village. Oh, no, it wasn't Lauren. Sorry, it was Amir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Amir. He sorry. Sent, he sent his <laughs> territory. Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these names going, oh, how are we going to do this? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Amir, I'll let you know. But as far as I remember, Sandy's Tropical does. Um, you know, bearing in mind it's a bit difficult from a beach perspective. Um, I'm sure the guest, uh, the staff would be able to assist if, you know, if they wanted to go and sit on one of the um, one of the uh, chairs. But the great thing about that is you can't believe how many people actually rather sit around the pool and they see the beach and they'll go for a swim, but they actually like to be around the pool area. Um, so I will definitely get back to you on that. Um, oh, thank you, Amir. Um, any kids facilities? So all of our properties in Kenya, we do have like a little kids area, but it's not like a kids club. So there's lots of fun things for the kids to do. Um, the staff are pretty good in terms of the kids. They kind of follow them around and take them onto the beach and have a look at things and try and find some, um, some coral and that type of thing. Um, so there are kids facilities, but it's not um, a kids club per se. I must say, most of the time, I mean, I've been there four times. Whenever I'm there, the kids are just in that swimming pool and they do not stop. Um, so that's kind of where you see the kids most of the time. Um, but the kids love it. Families are very, very popular in, in our Melindy properties, extremely popular. Um, and obviously the rooms lend themselves to it as well. And so does our buffet setup. You know, for example, we've got waffle for the kids. We've got ice cream. Um, they can kind of build their own pastas. So it's, it's quite fun for them. And um, we get a lot of families that come to, to our Melindy properties. Have you been close to time to enjoy the culture half long? Um, we are probably about three to four kilometers from town. Please just bear in mind, it's a Melindy town. Okay, we, there's no pep stores or Ackermans or anything like that. Um, you can catch a tuk-tuk if you'd like to. We can arrange a transfer from the hotel um, or you can do a, a, a sit or a town um, excursion. So it's entirely up to you. Melindy is a very safe area. So if you decide that you want to hire a taxi from the hotel and go into Melindy, the taxi drivers are also amazing. They'll say, right, what do you need? What do you want to look for? Um, so we're about three to four k's away from Melindy uh, town itself. Um, so you can certainly, I mean, when we did our excursion, we spent almost three hours in the town, just walking around, checking out, doing a bit of shopping. Um, so we are fairly close to, to the Melindy town itself. Sure, I like the questions this morning. Thank you. It's very exciting. Um, does, does anybody want to ask Barbara any questions on any of the resorts? No, Bob, so I don't know if you've got anything else. Um, we'd love some business. It would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> and please, if there's, you know, I mean, obviously, Ange is your contact. If there's anything that's, you know, you, hold on. Ah, quite important question. I do apologize for that. Right. With regards to COVID, we have very, very stringent um, protocols in all our hotels with regards to COVID. Our COVID testing is not even... Well, it's pretty much 800 meters from our hotel. So if people don't want to walk 800 meters, you can quickly catch a taxi there. Most of the people actually take a nice stroll down the road. They stroll down the road, they get their PCR testing done, they come back to the hotel and the results come back to the hotel. Do you know what so, the cost is, Barbara? We were going to ask um, okay, That's fine. I'm sure we must have it. So, and yeah, I will, I'll just reconfirm the cost for you. Um, I do apologize. Um, with all my hotels, I get confused which is which. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the PCR testing, I'll find out how much it is. But it's literally, it's actually a, quite a nice stroll. You just walk along the road, PCR testing, and you walk back. So it's actually, it's, it's quite a nice little walk. We haven't had anybody catch a taxi yet. Um, they've all chosen to walk. So yeah, you know what? I just think it's, I, I'm, I'm often saying, especially with COVID and with the restrictions on so many places that you can't go, why not try something different? Let me tell you, when your guests go to Melindy, they will fall in love with that place. It is just, it, it has a vibe that is amazing. It, it really is. The people are stunning. The beaches are beautiful. Our food is divine. The accommodation is amazing. And it's a seriously, seriously relaxed holiday. And um, I'm really looking forward to uh, having some bookings. 
Um, I know, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes people go, mm, I'd rather go to Mombasa because I've got to get a two hour transfer to Malindi. They will be blown away. Get them to do that two hour transfer. Alternatively, mm -hmm. you know, through Nairobi um, into the Malindi. And we obviously do the transfers as well. So when bookings are made, we can sort out the transfers and then excursions. We actually have, have an, ex it is an outsourced company, but they are based at the hotel. So you can go and chat to them any time of the day. They will make suggestions. They do the bookings and everything is done from the hotel. Perfect. Okay. Righty. It looks stunning. And I know that um, when Cindy went, she said it was honestly the best place she's been to. So yeah. um, I definitely think it's an option, especially in these times. We've got some great specials um, on our website as well. So it is one of those destinations we are driving from our side. So let's hope and pray that um, we get some traction. Fantastic. And as I said, if there's any questions that, you know, might go through to Ange and she can't answer, please, I'm available and she's got my number. So yeah. um, I'm here to help as much as I can. And yeah, look forward to it. Thank you, Barbara. That was great. Right. Thank you, awesome. everybody. Thank you for your time. Have a great day and yeah. keep warm, please. Yes. yes. Thank <laughs> you. Take See. care. Bye. Bye.